Hey guys, it's Niner here again, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back in Need for Speed for another car build, and today I wanted to take a look at the Ford Focus RS because this car got a few more customization options from the Showcase update, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and customize it. So before there was this body kit, um, it's just a little bit of a facelift body kit, um, it looks nice, um, but yeah, we have plenty of parts to play with, so... First off, let's take a look at the hoods. So we have a vented hood, which looks amazing. We have another race style hood, and should I go with that one? Yes. This front bumper really doesn't do much, but I'm going to put it on anyway. All right, so now we move down to the splitter, and the first option looks really nice. The second option looks even nicer, and the third option is insane. And then we'll add on some fenders, because fenders. All right, time to look at the spoilers. So... We have that, oh my god, oh my god. I, 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 that's really tempting. But I think just for the sake of my sanity, I'm gonna go for this. Now you may be asking if I'm high with the, uh, with the room color. Um, if they don't have a Ken Block vinyl, this is gonna be awkward. So they do have some Ken Block vinyls, and honestly, they don't look anything like the actual car. But I mean respect, because... I could never do anything like this. Well, I guess we're gonna start off with a race. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a drift event because, well, that's why I built this car for. But I swear to God, if this guy doesn't beat me and I'm in a drifty Ford Focus, then this guy should just quit this game. Like every chance it gets, it wants to slip, which, you know, I I'm I'm hyped to get this thing into a drift event because this car is gonna be sick in. Um, those type of events. I mean, I'm still beating this guy, and the, I think the other guy has, like, an Aventador or something. So I should definitely have the upper hand. Not not if I run into a fucking truck. Yeah, it, it looks like uh, I beat him. That's that's honestly really sad. Alright, let's see if he wants to do a drift contest. Um, there we go. Okay, I thought he was gonna decline the invite, and wow, he's already ramming. That's fun. And you know, since it's a drift event, we're obviously on a on a straightaway, on a scale from one to shit, if I were to rate this guy in a drift event, it would probably be a solid 10. So yeah, um, that was sad. If you look in the uh, top right, I beat him by more than 100,000. Get absolutely shit on. All right, so now we're doing a toge event, and honestly, this competitive lobby is, it's such an awesome new feature because it's so much easier you know, finding people, um, to race with. Because as you know, um, yeah, the AI are absolutely shit. So at least I have, you know, a little bit of competition. But honestly, this Focus, it drifts so damn well. Like, through the first few corners alone, I already have above 100,000 points. Alright, let's see how it does through here. I mean, I think this car's all-wheel drive, um, so that probably helps quite a bit. Honestly, I don't, I don't even know how this kid hasn't quit yet. On a serious note, um, I'd probably keep this car as one of my permanent drift cars because, I mean, I, I cross line with 444,000 points. Um, not only that, but, I mean, it's just an insane drift car by itself. However, the wraps on it are kind of weak, and I want a nice Ken Block wrap. I mean, this is honestly better than anything that I could do, but honestly, it doesn't even look close to Ken Block's car. I don't know, honestly, for me, um, you know, the car has to perform nice, and it also has to look nice. But yeah, honestly, if you guys are looking for a good drift car, I, I really do recommend the Focus. It's just, it's so easy to get into, and I mean, I scored 444,000 points on that last event. So yeah, that just tells you that this car is an absolute drift machine. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.